a quick one on Ethos, Pathos and Logos. I'll leave a link in the description to this when I've finished. Or well, maybe in a little bit when I get on the desktop. The goal of a lot of academic writing is argumentative. A successful paper can convince its readers to change their minds, to look at a problem differently, or to consider a new solution. Readers, however, can be hard to convince. So more than 2,000 years ago, Aristotle described three different strategies, sometimes called rhetorical appeals, that writers and speakers can use to make their arguments more convincing. Be careful, however, because not every appeal is appropriate to every kind of argument. Sorry, for every kind of argument. For example, there's no place in a scientific research paper for an appeal to emotion, or in many essays and speeches, however, teachers will ask you to practice using all three appeals. As you can see, some of them overlap, while others conflict. Used wisely, however, they can work together to make your argument as convincing as possible. And this is what they're doing. Mainstream media, stuff like that, use this stuff against the people. So this is why we should use, learn these tools and use them against them. Use the tools that they use against us against them. Ethos, establishing character. We sometimes get this, but turned around to make our character less appealing. Like these trolls and stuff. Arguments using ethos, sometimes called ethical appeals, emphasise your trustworthiness. This reasonable, well-informed person believes this, they imply. So maybe the reader should too. Or the listener, or whatever case may be. They make an effort to establish your authority, fairness and connection with readers. To show that you are someone whose ideas are worth listening to, you might state your experience and credentials directly. As a trained paramedic with six years of experience, I have seen you specific concrete examples which displays the depth of your knowledge. Anyone can say that drinking and driving is bad, but someone who's been at the scene of many crashes knows details that the reader doesn't. Sorry, that the readers don't. Use those details. Choose words that show how knowledgeable you are. If your readers know the subject you're writing about, or speaking about, Make sure you use the terms associated with that subject. If your readers are, or listeners are unfamiliar with it, use a few of the terms and make sure to define them. Show that your opinion is shared by other expert authorities. In 2012, research, researchers at Harvard found that even more accidents involved alcohol. Use evidence from the most unbiased sources you can find. Refer respectfully to people and positions with which you disagree. Avoid words and ideas which may offend some readers unnecessarily. Show what you have in common with people and positions with which you disagree. Mention your opponent's strongest arguments, not just their weakest ones, and respond to those arguments carefully and thoughtfully. Show how your own perspective has changed over time, if it has. Show your own respect for your argument by carefully proofreading your paper. Pathos, appealing to emotion. Arguments based on pathos, sometimes called emotional appeals, encourage readers to make a decision based on emotions, like anger, pity or fear. Many people who, don't, who won't change their minds based on logical argument are willing to do so when their emotions are involved, which is why so many political advertisements use them. Appeals to emotion are usually discouraged in formal academic writing, but they, there are many essays and speeches in which they're appropriate. To appeal to your audience's emotions, you might use vivid concrete language in telling a story about a specific example. Focus on the example of someone who is especially vulnerable or appealing, such as a toddler or honor student killed in a car, crash, car accident. Connect to those examples to particular startling or uncomfortable facts and statistics that you found in your research. Her experience was not unusual. 60% of the drivers on the road that night were, leg were legally drunk. Use language that emphasises the positive. Hardworking, law-abiding, helpful, or powerless, frail, tiny, terrified. Quali qualities of people you perceive as victims. Use language that emphasises the negative, irresponsible, careless. Qualities of people or institutions you believe to be at fault. Or you know to be at fault. So get rid of his beliefs. Logos, appealing to reason. Arguments based on logos, sometimes called logical appeals, involve claims and evidence that establish your skill in reasoning. 
Logos is the most academic of the three kinds of appeals, and it's an important part of every college writing assignment. To show that you have carefully thought through the topic you're exploring, you'll want to look carefully at your own assumptions. Are there any circumstances, circumstances under which they might not be true? If so, you may not want to base an argument on them. Avoid logical fallacies. Don't assume that one event caused another event just because it came first. Don't assume that one person's experience is typical of other people's experiences. That's generalising. Like we'd have a lot with these trolls and these, these mainstream media and stuff like that, generalising. It's like all flat earthers believe this, all flat earthers say this. Which is that, with logical fallacy. Don't assume that there are only two options. Word your claims carefully. Don't make statements about everyone or everywhere or always, unless there are no possible exceptions. Back up each of your claims with quotations, statistics or examples. Make sure your evidence comes from respected experts and authorities. Well, that's an appeal to authority, so I mean, that's a logical fallacy anyway. Use recent sources less than five years old, whenever possible. Newer research may contradict some older sources. Use historical or scientific comparisons when appropriate. That's it, and that's it. That's from isu.edu success writing. So I'll leave a link to this in a little bit. Um, when I get to the desktop. So, like I said, we need to learn this stuff so we can use it against them. They're using it against us, we need to use it against them. So we need to learn this so we can use the same tools they're using against us against them. Thank you.